winds howling. Man's footprint, the murderer's maybe, weighed on his heel. To step us. back. Grab him! Sis, that him. How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. Lost your nerve? Yeah. Yeah. Try the trick. Yeah. Fucking come on! Together now! Kill yeah. the whole set! <laughs> gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much, but I can tell you what I know. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Take care now. And I got a murderer to catch. Oh, my head's ringing. Got a problem. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way. Trail ends here. Strange. Even I couldn't jump this wall.
Watch it, Tram. Novigrad's not your stomping ground. Greetings. suspicious to me, Tram. Heard it's a Ooh. vigilante, Arr. and he kills bastards, and horse hunters. Anyone home? Be gone, or I'll set me hands on you. Molly, Striger, come! Relax, I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Set your stupid much lay down. Charming as beasts go. You daft. Even I'm scared of them. A better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I ran to a mate who raised his fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But asleep sound at least. So who might you be? The Steph's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a bear for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze, and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand, hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. The Novigrad folk give bleating orphans in the street a white berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. They care about some dwarf. Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf, craftsman like no other. But he was an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, tis all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag. And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. A pont said a fever took her. Fine, we've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Blood stains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Murderer dragged something heavy. Dragged something across the floor. Statues. More dragged it from one corpse to the other. Repeatedly. Mind if I go inside the workshop? 
I've not even peeked inside since since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. Stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless Mal died. Doubt Fabian used it. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Got this cracking in my spine. No. Some coin turn. Hey. Mug like that. Oi, Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. You, Eustace, the corpse collector? I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art, one of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? <laughs> sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of the... Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? <laughs> Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Talk. What did you find on him? I, uh, I had you wish. Trifings, balls, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum. Quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner sill it as new. That's human skin. Priscilla. Next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. Get out of my sight. Now. <coughs> Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you, especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. 
Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. By the way, you and Von Gratz don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242. A senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but... Alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. And then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim... Oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. How old's Von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Music, is it not? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone, because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the ribcage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer. The name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her, now. Till next time, Mark. He's a war veteran. What do you want? Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, we'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagelbud. Just no trickery. Understand? Geralt, what a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. 
I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard to believe, but you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned the mother seemed sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square, but had not a word on her way home. She had all the holy books and signals reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in. Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Between your eyes. Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. For it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother! Why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire, only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid. I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body. A note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time. Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Gotta get to crippled Kate's, fast. Another empty formaldehyde bottle.
serve the eternal fire. She's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. We can go at it here. My base. You choose. What? No one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though? Whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again you disturbed me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. First, gotta tell me why you do it. For pleasure. Satisfaction. <laughs> Achievable with whores in a lot of ways, many traditional. Doesn't take killing them, trust me. Who said anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. Third degree, but still. Mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. Spare me your lies. I've seen your victims, I know how they end. You don't stop, not unless someone gets in your way. Like I'm doing now. What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <laughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner. Said you were busy, that you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with Sweet Nitty. After all, I paid in advance. You'll untie her, drop your coin pouch on the table, then leave here and never come back. Yes, I will. Good boy. Greetings, Witcher. It's nearby. Ready? Need a minute. Very well, but hurry, please.
run out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although... You've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. Who, what are you? A vampire? Higher, of course. Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism's rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat that... Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the Church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them, in a manner they'd be certain to notice. Tortured logic. Yet logic, nonetheless. I'm glad you perceived that, at least. Fight fire with fire, as they say. Give a thought to my victims. A lecherous woodcarver who'd spend his last copper on whores. An old countess who defiled symbols of the faith. A Trebirates for whom nothing was sacred, nothing above ridicule. They did not deserve to live. But their deaths could be a lesson to others. Awaken them, scare them onto the correct path, the path to the fire, to cleansing, to salvation. For you, I'm afraid it's too late. You are a man of little faith. I sense this. Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty good with a sword. Pretty good. Might not cut 